You know, I'm going to say it right now. This game has absolutely just exceeded all of my expectations. It's my favorite game of 2024, and I hope it shows. But I've had a lot of fun making the videos as well. The likes, the views, support has just kind of like wanted me to keep going and explore the game 100% as best I can. But love you all. Chapter 6 is kind of officially beginning. A lot of free roam in this area. A lot of somersault cloud. <laughs> all right. Love you all. Let's get this. How's it going? We are officially back. All right, here we go. So my goal for this video, I don't have like a blueprint this time, I promise. I'm just going to fly around and fight whatever I find. So we last left off, I actually fought the boss down there. And then I got this ability, the Somersault Cloud, which is absolutely game changing. I kind of want to just like see. Did they just pop in? <laughs> I'm going to just kind of fly around the edge of the map. And just kind of work my way, like a lawnmower, kind of. And just, here's what I, I want to test out some stuff. Like, can I jump off and then, like, summon it while I'm falling? I have so many questions. Here we go. Oh, that was, okay, I think I might have actually, that's kind of like, I wouldn't say game-breaking. <laughs> I mean, I'd do that again. All right, let's just ascend and look around. The way you kind of do this, the fact that this is even in the game, Okay, I already see a spotlight over here. So anything that looks like an arena, I'm just going to go there. But it's kind of odd. It's like there's just so much empty space. It's like to have a game that goes from, like, very narrow to, like, a full open world. You know what it kind of reminds me of? What was it? Uncharted Lost Legacy, I believe. They had, like, that one area that was, like, a huge open thing. And, like, the rest of the game was pretty linear, so... Let's see if there's got to be something up here, right? I'm just assuming any spot that has like an opening like this. I'm expecting either a boss or something cool up here. I had such a like laid out blueprint last video. I kind of feel weird going into this one like no, uh, no itinerary. <laughs> Are we alone? I know I fought like one boss last time. Like a side boss. Okay, there's nothing up here really. I guess I'll just keep exploring. We see the storms in the back. You know what? Let's just uh let's keep going. I guess I was wrong about the arena type areas. Like there's this down here. Oh, there's a giant. It's like a giant grasshopper. I'm not going to lie. That's the biggest thing I've seen in the entire game. And it's kind of terrifying, to be honest with you. I'm assuming you can fight it because I saw a health bar, but I do not want to get near it right now. My goal is to find all the bosses, though. I want to find every single one in Chapter 6. Easy. So it just jumps around wherever. That's pretty crazy. That's kind of cool that it's like... What's... Wait, what's... What no, A hippo? Excuse me? Hold on. Let's talk about this. That's so crazy. I was just like chilling. And that whole thing happened. Waterwood Beast. I know what you are, though. You're a hippo. <laughs> if you see me with this transformation, there's a chance I've been farming XP a little bit. In the water, I see. Okay, wait a minute. Let's talk about this. I guess I'll just wait for you to come to me, because... There you go. You know what? It's time. Not much damage, but pluck of mini though. Get ready. Some of that. Get him, boys. Easy. Really. 
Attack him! What are you doing? Uh, what is hitting me? It's like an invisible wall right here. That is crazy. What? It's like you can't even attack him. Yeah, okay. I want to try out the other stance that I haven't actually tried yet as well. But we'll see how this goes first. A lot of popping in. There was an update, like, right before I started the game up, by the way. So hopefully everything's good. Easy. Okay, buddy. There we go. Thing is, this hippo does a lot of damage. What's happening? It's like the game just like is shaking right now. Like more than I thought it would, okay. Is something actually happening, like a world event of some sort? Okay, buddy. I get it. There we go. Kind of feel bad for him, you know? Where'd that grasshopper go? I assume it's a grasshopper. It kind of looks like one. I think I hear it. Hey, it's back! I'm gonna avoid you for right now, buddy. I want to find all the hidden bosses in this area as well. Like, I don't know how many there actually are. There was, like, one on the cliff side I want to check out. Let me just stay up here. I can actually see everything. We got a spot back here. I feel like nothing really starts until you land on the ground. That's kind of like the vibe I'm getting right now, at least. That's so sick. Like, the fact that that's going on in the background is insane. I just want to know, like, where the other shrine is. Like, is there a, another one out in the open in here? Like, <laughs> I don't know. This is like a dead end, kind of. All right, so seen that. Fought the hippo. What about this spot? It kind of looks like a boss arena, kind of. But yeah, thank you all for joining me on this series. Here's what kind of happened. So I was playing it and I was just kind of like running through the game. And then I just kind of had like a lot of people messaging me like, please explore. There's a lot of stuff you missed. So that's why the last several videos before this one were like me going back getting a secret area here and there it's like the hidden stuff in the game is just really cool so and I'm not done finding all that stuff by the way like I want to fight the grasshopper I want to fight whatever's available in here also bosses I missed in previous chapters I really don't know how to go about this because it's like do I just teleport back with the trail talisman and just I feel like there's a lot of empty space out here I was gonna say dead space but might have been a little uh, on the nose, I feel like. <laughs> I don't see anything. It's just like... I mean, it's nice. I like it, but... There's... It, I think the weird part about it is there's no, like, typical enemies. You know, like, there's not, like... Like, the snow area, it's like you got all that stuff everywhere. And you can, like, fight, you know, basic enemies along the way. Whereas this just seems kind of like a... Oh! Is that another one? Wait a minute. Phase two? Should I... Hold on. Should I go back and, like, rest? Are there multiple of the same boss? Oh, it's just a basic one. Okay, so it's not like a boss. Got you. Fight him again. 
Maybe you get something cool. Some enemies, what I was saying like the previous video, I believe it was, certain enemies drop random things. And it's like you gotta... You gotta defeat like so many and it's like a luck-based thing. Like there was one thing I had to... I tried like an entire night the other day to get this thing to drop from... Hold on. Commit! There we go. Yeah, like I was saying, there's like certain enemies will drop certain items. You can't really get them otherwise. I feel like the game is kind of like letting you... It's like you can kind of farm if you want to. Like I tried getting like this one thing the other night and it took me forever. And I never got it. But I saw like videos of it dropping for other people. So, alright, here's what I'm about to do. We've only got one shrine and there's another hippo. Okay, I'm gonna go back. We're just gonna do this. We're gonna reset after we fight a boss. This will be kind of how I do it for right now because, I don't know, it just seems like there's no shrine out in the open. I might as well just come back here because I got this and I can travel really quick, so. What I'll do is go back to the left again. I want to search around. It's not like another hippo, but I want to see if there's anything because we got the spot right there. There's like a thing on the ledge. I feel like that's probably the main area you're supposed to actually go. We got this. Hold on. There's a spot in the middle right here. We can try this. Maybe there's something here? I don't know. I gotta admit, that grasshopper thing is kind of terrifying. The fact that it's just out in the open... There's another hippo, so we're just gonna just, like, ignore that one. I like how they kind of pop up, it's like, oh! He's coming! Pop up! Appearances! <laughs> We got like this tree right here. This tree really stands out. So there's like something under it. Hey, look at that. There's a shrine. Let's go. Okay. Now we can actually be out here for a little bit. <laughs> I was worried. I was like, do I have to always go back or what? Rest. Just to reset everything. Reset the enemies. All right. So there's one there. I keep doing that. I keep doing that. I'm going to change something really quick, so I keep doing this because I'm supposed to press down to summon the cloud. Problem is I have... I'm so used to holding L2 or I guess left trigger on Xbox, and it's like... <laughs> let me just put anything else. Let's just do that. Rather like accidentally use something I can actually get more of because having to like teleport back by accident might be a recipe for disaster later on. Yeah, it's like it's a pretty vast area, but what do you actually... This is random. Okay. Like, where did they even come from? That was kind of weird. All right. I was just kind of like strolling around in the woods and... <laughs> All right. All right. We got more hippos. I'm going to leave them there. Might as well just float around a little bit. I could check the right side of the map too. I'll definitely do that next. I just want to see like what was actually back here. Man, this thing is huge. When it landed next to me in the end of the last video, I was like shook almost. I was like, what am I supposed to do against that? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, they just randomly pop up. Okay. I don't mind fighting them. Maybe they actually drop something like if you get enough of them taken out or like a luck based thing. Hey, 
kind of saving my focus in case I, like, stumble upon another boss by accident. Which could happen. I'm not seeing anything else that's really... I don't know, it's like... This little area right here might be something. Hold on. I would fly around, like, on the surface, kind of, but... I feel like a lot of stuff doesn't actually pop up unless you're off the actual cloud. So they just keep popping up, okay. Really, I mean... Oh, well, you can't summon it in battle, okay. What if I just run away? Like, to what extent does it actually work? I thought I want to fight him. I'm just gonna run this way. Still in combat. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna wait it out. There it goes. Okay. I want to get up in the air a little bit. All right, so we got a spot. Let's see. It goes all the way around. I don't know if you can actually go up there. There's a spot with like the reddish pink area right there. That looks kind of cool. Okay. We got whatever this is right here too. I think I saw this in the end of the last video. Let's go here. A lot of lightning in this particular spot. So maybe there's like a boss or something. A lot of corpses. Wait, wait. <gasps> nice. Another one. All for incense. There might be a boss fight right here because this is like right next to a giant open area. It looks like an old battlefield type setup. I'm gonna do something really quick before I forget. So I changed this and I realized I only got four of these and I don't want to have that on because if I accidentally use it, I mean, it's useful. Don't get it twisted, but I want to use something I can actually like have a lot of. Let's see. Like, one of the blue or green ones, I'll be more... Uh, let's put that on. That's fine. Hello? Anybody here? Gold Armored Rhino. Well, here we go. I was expecting something else, but this is fine. No, I did it too late. Can't even really do damage to it. Okay. Like slow chip damage. Try to do like a heavy attack here in a second. I want to like build max focus if I can, or not max, but like close to it. Nothing. That was at least two, but it didn't really do much. Wait a minute.
All right, the top part's gone. So now it's just like the base horn and everything. Okay. Very tanky enemy, though. To say the least. Change transformations again. This one's not the best, but no damage is being done. All right. The horn grew back. Okay, that's why. All right. Here's the thing. A charged heavy attack definitely helped break everything, but I'm gonna wait. Missed? Okay. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Just keep, it. keep trying it. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. A little closer. This is the most tanky boss I feel like of the entire game up to this point. It's actually insane. There we go. We get armor from that? Excuse me? It can't be. Wu Kong's gold sword armor. That monkey was full of surprises. Just like me. He had his way to linger on, and his belongings, too. They're set on killing those mongrels of the court. But we've got to snatch them first, or these scum will take them. I'll go find the other ones. Keep up with me! It's like I'm wearing the armor, but what kind of armor is it? Oh, let's see. Is it better than what I currently have on? So it has less... Wait a minute. So it's actually really good armor, but the thing is, this has higher defense. But I really like... Wow, this is actually really nice. Critical stuff, too. But it says 3 and 5, which I don't... That's where I'm kind of, like, not sure, like, what... Everything else has been 2-4, two, 2-4, four, two, four, sometimes just 1. But this has got 5... Is there 5 slots for this? Maybe there's like something else we gotta unlock, but I feel like I want to put it on. The problem is, it's like, this is way higher defense, but I also can't really benefit from... Oh, the fact that this costs, it's like the three. I want to wear it, but I also don't want to like mess up, because I only have the... I could take one of these off, is what I'm trying to say. 
But the problem is, let's just try it. It's already on anyways. So, looks like I got the two-piece bonus, but I really wish that... That's fine. Should be all right. Maybe there's like something else we can actually put on, like make it better, but I don't see like another slot. So those pieces must be scattered across the area then. All right. I come in peace. Kind of. I'm out. I'm gonna hide over here for a second. I'm actually scared of this grasshopper thing. Like, I'm not even lying. Let's go the other direction. I'm gonna try to go rest really quick if I can, but... So maybe there's a full armor set. Easy. I might just go where the grasshopper's going because I feel like there's a lot of stuff, like, around the area. And maybe it's, like, a hint to check out certain things? I really don't know. Let me rest really quick. Reset my stuff. So the fact that there may be a full set of armor in this section has me very intrigued. But it was like that... So we had like the rhino. The hippo didn't have any armor. Uh, what else? Let's actually follow the grasshopper for a second. Let me ascend. Hold on. Where did it go? Oh, it reset because I rested. Never mind. It's like an area back here, too. It's like, I don't really know what's... Like, every spot that looks like there may be something there, it's like it's never there. Like, this may not be anything, but I'm gonna land here just in case. These could be landing spots for the grasshopper thing, though. I just thought about that. Maybe that's, like, why there's certain spots. I got an area down here, right here. Okay. This could also be a boss. I really don't know. I'm not sure, like, the extent of, like, how many bosses are in this area, but it seems like there's only bosses. Besides, like, the few hippos I saw. Wait. I just fell off. Okay. Wait, where's the... How's it going? I gotta fight this thing. The frog. And all them. Okay. Oh, come on. What? Boss rush of a chapter already. This has been awesome. And this like all feels like side bosses too, which is kind of cool. Like it feels like not really necessary. So we're actually trying to fight it as well, I guess. Hey, what's happening? Come on. Easy. Can't do any damage right now. There we go. Could be like another armor piece. It's like I'm not doing any damage. Well, I'm kind of doing a little bit, but not much. I like that. <laughs> I'm just trying to just do anything. Hold on. E oh my goodness. Easy. There we go. Nice. Got 
got a curious it says birthstone fragment and they're still fighting me i love it leave me alone tadpole material okay so now they're like chilling all right let me actually search my so i have this one on it says it says it slightly reduces cooldown but i don't know what that is like percentage wise uh this says I had to read this like several times already. I'm like in my brain. I'm like, is it this strong? Because this feels almost too strong. Ignores the enemy's four Bane's resistance. And it's legendary, which makes sense. This might have to get equipped because this almost seems game changing in a way. Not like Somersault Cloud, <laughs> but like in combat, using any kind of stuff you want on any enemy or boss just seems extremely powerful. I guess it makes sense though. Only a few left. How's it going? <laughs> Them adding the cloud. Because I saw it like the introduction. And I'm like, man, I'd be really sick if they had that. But like when the game starts, you're like, there's no way that's in the game. And then you start playing it. Get to that last chapter. And it's like, what? All right. So that's another area. Um... There's gotta be more, I feel like. I was like, look at all the space back here. We got a hippo there. I wanna go like over there, but I don't like know where the main section is. I feel like I wanna kinda explore down here for a little bit before going any further, because I feel like once we start moving forward. Why does this tree look kinda suspicious? Keep it moving. It's almost like... Yeah, it's just another hippo. Okay. It's like, there's just like random bosses throughout the area. This could be something. Hold on. This could also be like a landing spot for that giant thing. Or not. What is going on here? This is like a different type of enemy too. I should have rested somewhere. All right, that's it. <laughs> like open and shut case Johnson all right so I guess with that being said all right uh, let's see oh this this spot right here looks like one doesn't it I want to go rest really quick but I also don't want to let's do that I'll explore a little bit more down in this area then we'll just keep going I guess but I don't like where this one's at, at least. So let's just do this really quick and then reset my mana. It's like the biggest thing I'm worried about is having no mana. Kind of rough. I haven't tested out Spellbinder, by the way. I want to, but I'm not really sure how much more damage it actually does. I kind of want to like, just test it out in my spare time before I commit to it. But we'll see how it goes. It's like this spot back here seems very secluded and surrounded, so this has to be something, right? Nothing. Now, this thing kind of looks like something. This might be one of those, like, rock bosses. It is, okay. Poisonous, too. Interesting. All right. Man, 
that poison is rough sometimes because you can't really like get it off without actually easy popping that stuff. Oh, it's gonna hit me. That tornado does so much work. It's actually insane. Nice. Fine gold thread. Let's get it. Now the mine core. You can just hear it like jumping around everywhere. All right, let me check something really quick. So, what this is kind of weird is like this is being a like if this is two and four. I would say I'd go for like two of these and then two of this because I feel like the top part is really nice. But, you know, the fourth thing is not really worth it, I feel like. Because it's very situational. And it's also taken with perfect dodge, because I don't like that a lot. Uh, and then, yeah, I like the credit chance increase. But the other one also, I mean, cooldown reduction, like the full set would be really nice. I almost feel like I have, right like, the best armor in the game already on, though, which I don't have the full set because the game is just designed that way, I guess, where you just can't get the full set in one playthrough. Apparently, that's how it works, but... All right. The obvious boss that's kind of left is that one right there, but I really don't know how I'm supposed to actually attack it. I might... I'm going to save that for later. I feel like that's going to be a long fight because that thing looks insane. Plus, I kind of like to jump around the map a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It just adds like an element to this chapter that I was not expecting. All right. So, we've seen a lot of stuff. I also... Let me check right here. I'm pretty sure I've already seen whatever this has to offer. But it seems like a little like central area. I don't see anything. Let's go up the hill really quick. Just clapping. <laughs> How's it going? Are you a boss or an NPC or what? What's good? Can I talk to you? We kind of just vibing out or what? What's good? I don't want to attack him, but. Maybe I'm supposed to. Let's give it a shot. You won't even feel this, I promise. Oh, son of stones. Sorry. That's actually funny. They just shoo you away. Like, get out of here, kid. How about this, buddy? This is so random. I kind of feel bad. It's like I'm like messing up their resting spot, but you're a boss. Uh oh, we've awoken the hive. That didn't do anything. Okay. Oh my god! Hold on. All right. That is so much damage. Okay. Well, this is so random. It's like I'm just getting free damage, essentially. You can't. Okay, you can't immobilize. That makes sense. I tried it the first time and I thought like maybe it didn't like too soon, but this makes a little more I mean it's a giant stone, so
How's it going? So it's like it expends all its energy, really. There we go. Maybe? Hold on. More fine gold thread. Another mine core. All right. Let's go see this area really quick. I probably should go back and rest. Uh, let's actually do that. You know what? There's a high chance we actually find... I feel like a site has to be... Not a site of grace, Brad. A shrine. Excuse me. It's got to be close by. Uh, wait a minute. There's got to be one over here somewhere, right? Problem is, I don't want to get too far up and, like, fight something else and then, like, not have anything on me, you know? This place is ginormous. Anything over here? Let's see. Just a body of water, which maybe... I heard noise, and it's like it went away, so I don't really know. I feel like if I land, something's gonna pop up. Yeah, let me go back, I guess. We'll just rest. Oh, that's actually the cloud doing that. Never mind. Yeah, there's like not a shrine anywhere right here. It just feels like it'd be a perfect spot for one. Alright, let's go back across. There's one over there, too. I could go to that one, but... Actually... That's closer. Let's just do that. But yeah, thank you for all of the support of this series. This has been my favorite game in a very long time. I went from, like, casually playing it... I remember what I said it's, like, my game of the year in, like, the first video, which is insane to probably say that. But given the year we've kind of had for gaming, which has not been good... <laughs> I was just like, this has definitely stood out to me as, like, a really good... Single player game. I feel like no battle pass needed. Maybe DLC down the road. I really don't know how they're actually going to like develop this game over time. But it feels like a complete product. It reminds me of the first time I played Elden Ring for sure. Like that level of just like, I can't believe this is all in like the same game, you know? All right, let's see what's actually back here because we fought that. Let's keep going back. I saw like a skeleton thing over here I wanted to check out, but I was kind of scared to... Get off the cloud because what if something like pops up? It's kind of funny. It's like a combination of all the different areas so far, at least. Except for like the snow area. Because right now this area feels like chapter two, kind of. We got a waterfall. We got something back there. Hold on. I was really excited for this video because I had a feeling we're going to find a lot of cool stuff. And it seems like that's exactly what we've kind of been doing. It's just running around. We got some armor. What is this? Water curtain cave. Okay. Is this... Let's we'll see what's back here. Uh, anything down here first? Hold on. A place I want to go to after this section is that reddish area. What is that? Hold on. What is back here? Like, why is that even a thing? Excuse me? <laughs> I know I say it a lot in every video, but thank you all again. Like I've said many, many times, the support on this series has meant the world to me. This has been my favorite game, not only this year, but in recent years. I think it's one of my all-time favorite series I've ever done. And the fact that it also was, you know, always going to have history in my channel now because that part one 
was like the most viewed thing I ever had in a 24 hour period. Just meant the world to me. But yeah, I just wanted to say all that. I know I say it a lot, but sorry if I'm annoying about it. But I just, you know, I know you have a choice. All right, let's go through here and see what's next. Game's lagging a lot. Something's happening. Giant cave? All right. I hear like a rumbling noise. Anything back here? If I see a, sh if I see a shrine anywhere, I'm definitely going to be excited because... I know, like, we've made progress, but right now it just seems like we're still, like, because I can't fly around in here. Like, this game is massive. That's one of those things. This is kind of like the thing in that, well, it's not really. I think it, like, teleported me in that other chapter. I think it was like chapter five. Is this like a giant staff or something? Really like a throne right here. Interesting. What they've kind of created with this game is something that I think will be talked about for a very long time. It's like how to make an actual really good game. And it's single player, you know? Like, what are the odds? Wait, so you can't interact with this right now, I guess. Maybe there's like something I can actually do. I tried attacking it, but nothing. No interact. The thing is the camera like panned in on it. Like, okay, it's like a major thing, but I wonder if... I can't really see back here. Hold on. Nothing. Okay. Dead ends everywhere. So this is like all that's over here. This might be something I got to come back to later on. Because we got like a little like, I guess, throne slash chair. What if I, like, stand up in it? Huh. Can I climb this? No. You got, like, the music that goes with it, everything. Interesting. Alright, well. I guess we'll head back. Because I don't really see, like... Like, nothing really happened. It's like, if it's like something I'm missing, maybe? Like, an item, or... A certain boss I gotta kill first to interact here. That might be the case. I really don't know, but it's like a dead end everywhere else. Alright, let's just keep exploring. I think I came here a little too early. That might be what it is, because I had a feeling this might be like the main section, but I don't think you can actually progress right here. So I'm just gonna head back and we we'll go to that like reddish area. Not sure if you can actually go down there or not. It doesn't look like you can because I didn't see like an edge to jump off or... Yeah, I'm gonna die if I do that. It might not even let you. <laughs> the game is very like chill about... Like in Dark Souls, you like jump over the edge by accident. And you're like, I lost all my progress. In this game, it's like they don't really do that. Except for when we got the cloud and it's like... Man, I wish I had like a mini map for this area. That would be so nice because I could like pen like, hey, I've been here. No clouds still. All right. So we'll definitely be back here. This is definitely something I will check out before the end of the series. Maybe I can do it very soon. We'll see. All right. You got to get away from it. Now we're good. All right. Now let's actually try the other section. I'm kind of just flying around, honestly. Because I've fought a lot of bosses in this video. And I feel like I'm trying to figure out like where to go... Like, the main purpose of the actual area.
Anything back here? This feels like a... Hold on, this feels like kind of like a potential boss area. It's very secluded, it's by itself. Nope, all right. Hmm, just a thought. This game went from like a... Hold on, what is this? Is this another region? Oh man, this looks... Hold on, what is down here? Wait a minute, this looks like a definite... Wait a minute. What is back here? If I land, it's boss time, I already know. Flying around really quick. Little survey area, hold on. This has to have a reason. Can you get on top of this middle rock? Hold on. Yeah, I feel like this game was like at least, uh, you know, 9.5 out of 10, but I feel like it's like the perfect game. Is it glitch-free? No, but it's... I mean, it makes up for it by everything else. All right, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. Here we go. Nothing yet. This kind of feels important, whatever this thing is in front of us. It's like a giant, like, folded kind of tree that looks very scary, but... I thought it was like a centipede from a distance, but I guess not. The way the camera's kind of panning out, though, I feel like something's gonna happen. I'm like just waiting for something to like pop up. <laughs> Alright. This has to be something. Like, this cannot just be here for no reason. The problem is I won't really know until I actually discover it. I'm sure I get an email right after this video goes live. Be like, here you go. Here's what you gotta do. And I'll do every step. I don't care. <laughs> I really appreciate the help. Like, I didn't see anything else, unless you can go further back here. But it looks like there's, like, a limit. Yeah, it's gonna stop you. Okay. I don't know. This feels like... Can you land on the top of this rock? I'm actually curious. Hey, you kind of just chill up here. Interesting. Wait, is this... I just had an idea. Is this... No, there's no way this is a boss, right? Can you go down in here? Wait a minute, what is going? I think I might have glitched the game. I don't think I'm supposed to come down here. Ascend! I'm starting to think that this thing may be a boss. But I don't know, because that's like the only- I was like, in the middle, I'm like, it's a giant mountain that I like. The more I look at it, I'm like... It's got like crystals on it. Yeah, okay, whatever you gotta do, like, to activate something in here, I'm gonna definitely find out. Alright, back outside. Here we go. That was kind of scary. It's like, once it dawned on me, I kind of got, like, chills. I'm like, wait a minute. Because the fact that you can land up there, I started thinking, like, what if this thing is actually... The only reason I would think it could be a boss, which it may not be, is games like Shadow of the Colossus, you know... Memories from that game, which I feel like is one of my all-time favorite games like that ever. But also the fact that that giant grasshopper is just jumping everywhere and it's huge. So I feel like there maybe isn't like a limit to like the size of the actual enemies. Plus the beginning of the game had like the... I mean, everything in the very beginning, like when you're on the cloud, was insanely tall. So you just never really know. All right. I feel like I'm talking a lot, sorry. A lot of downtime between fighting stuff, so I'm just kind of yapping. There it is. This is the spot I wanted to go to back here. I've already seen... I'm just going to just double check. Yeah, we're already good right here. Yeah, I saw whatever's back here could be something. It feels very, like... Out of the ordinary, I guess. Oh. 
This definitely is about to be a boss fight. 100%. Yep. And we got a little shrine right here. Okay. This might be something major. Get ready. All right, here goes. Is there snow next to that tree? Deer, okay. How's it going? Really? That explains all like the snow everywhere. My free health bar. I'm frozen. Come on. Oh, my. Good. I guess I could kind of spawn one of those two if I really wanted to, and I probably will here in a second. No damage? Okay, let me back up. Uh, damage over time, come on! It's like a protective layer, kinda. Let me just back up. Really? Man, it slows you down so much. The one time in the extra game, I'll feel like maybe the resistance stuff is probably worth it, but it's like very situational. Get him, boys! What's happening? Second phase? Another one? Oh no. That's terrifying. Okay. I wasted a lot of uh, mana, so I'm kind of regretting. It'd be kind of scary if it's like. A four phase type thing where you gotta like fight because that's poison as well. Like one for each type of like element thing in the game, like shock, frost. Hold on, hold on. 
Easy. The fact that he's also helping is kind of nice. I kind of prefer this phase anyways because the tornado stuff was really uh, upsetting. Easy. There we go, nice. I was kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie. Step away! This time, the glory's mine! I'm in, fine. With you monkeys around, I'm always toiling away for nothing. <sighs> Kid, when you step up one day, try not to forget your Uncle Bajir. All I got from Wukong were the nasty jobs. You should do better than that. <sighs> now we're done here. Time to move on. <laughs> All right, so we got the Lotus Silk Cloud Treaders. It's actually kind of nice sounding. All right. All right, let's check out this other piece we got. My helmet could definitely be better. Not a helmet, but whatever it's technically called in this game. Uh, what do I actually have? Headgear, that's what it's called. All right, Greaves. So the one I currently have, I like the actual perk on the two, but the four is not that great. I feel like if I could combine the three from this one with the two on the other one, it'd be perfect. I actually thought about this. It's like this. Imagine the spell binder, you know? You wouldn't actually need that spell cooldown thing for the five piece thing or whatever. So you could do like two and three. Yeah, it's auto equipping it when I get them. So I'm just going to put the other one back on. I may change the chest piece since I have the other two already equipped, though. Because it does look better. <laughs> I wish I had actually crafted like the helmet on the other set. Because I kind of, like, shot myself on the foot there. Yeah, let's just put it back on. It looks really nice, though. Probably the nicest armor set in the entire game. So this was, like, purposely put here. So it looks like they can, like, form the entire set. But I'm wondering, like, if it's a five-set thing, like, what would, like, the fifth thing be? It could be the weapon, but I really don't know. They haven't done that yet in the game, so I don't know if that's, like, what they could do, but some games that have gear sets do have, like, you can actually use, like, the weapon occasionally, so. I think Neo had something like that as well, where, like, you could use the weapon as part of the piece. There was also, like, accessories that said, like, you could get, like, a minus one on the set bonus thing, where you only had to have, like, a four piece only needed, like, three, as long as you had that talisman on. Stuff like that, so... All right, anything by the actual tree. Like I said, this entire chapter is like a combination of every area. And I think even mentioned like everything but snow. And of course, here we are. Hmm. All right. We'll fly around a little bit longer. We're playing for like over an hour now. And it's like, I don't know where else to actually go right now. So maybe I actually have to plot out, you know, a little route maybe. I'm just kind of like run around for a second. But yeah, I appreciate all the support of these types of videos. The longer content is just a lot more fun to make, I feel like. I've kind of just been doing that a lot the last several months, and I just like it better. I don't know. All right, so we've got two pieces of this armor set. Once I get three, I'll start switching around a little bit. Maybe. We'll see. 
We've already been down there. Okay, so we're kind of like seeing a trend. I wonder if the grasshopper drops a piece. Because it was like that rhino enemy, now the deer. We've already been right here. You fall like that stone thing on the edge. Like, what else is there really to do? Because I can't... I went out of the waterfall. There was nothing there. I could try fighting the grasshopper, but I'm kind of scared too, to be honest with you. Let's hold on. Let's check back up here really quick. Because I feel like I kind of like left the central area in the beginning very quick and just went over the hill. And I'm like, what for something like further up? Like right here, maybe. You never know, right? There's the grasshopper. Take it easy, please. I think if it sees you at like... Like the top of it glows, maybe? I'm really not sure. I kind of wonder, like, at the end of that last video when it jumped at me... Like, I wonder if that was like... Did it see me and then dive? Torbo was like just an accident. Wait a minute. We got a spot to the left over here, too. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let's check back here really quick. This could be something. Take a little look. <laughs> Unless this is all attached to that other section with the waterfall, which looks like... Yeah, it is. Okay. I got excited thinking it might be something brand new, but I guess not. It's like certain areas, it's like I want to explore, but it's like I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, what's like the main goal as well? Because I've been fighting all these other bosses, but I don't see any like... Well, I guess they're technically main bosses. I really don't know. We fought a lot already. This little section back here looks kind of like it could be something we've already been there, I'm pretty sure. And we've already came through here. This is kind of where I saw like that giant rock thing. I felt like that could be a boss, but I really don't know. We've already been there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go back to like the earlier area and just see like if there's anything in that section. Because this right here feels like it's something major. And, like, the more I look at this area, I feel like this thing in the middle is going to come to life. I'm going to stand next to it really quick. I'm just really curious. Like, I don't think we're going to fight something like this large, but you just never know, right? Maybe it's not anything. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just like a little mountain. But it just seems like something is supposed to happen in here, you know? <laughs> Very exciting. All right. Probably just gonna like stop here because I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going. I kind of want to like map out where I could go next and then like, you know, kind of come back to it. But this is like one of the first videos I've done in a little while where I didn't really plan anything out. So I kind of just went for it and it worked out because we had a lot of boss fights. I want to just check really quick before we go. The spot, like, near the top. We've been down here a lot in this video. We've also seen some of the cliff sides, a lot of, like, the arena spots. You know, like, this stuff right here. But it's like, we've already seen... Well, I've already been over there. It just goes up. And you can't really go that high. Yeah, this is as high as you can go, okay. Now I'm gonna check like where we came from earlier. Like all this back here. Where's that grasshopper at? Little body of water right here. Can you go up any higher? You can, okay. It just keeps going up. My goodness. Like, this game is massive. You could easily get lost in this section because there's, like, nothing to really, like... 
guess you could like land and just explore, but it's like, if I hop down right here, like why? You know? Besides like the wildlife. Hey, buddy. I'm in battle? What? Buddy, you didn't have to do that. Like, really? All right. Let's follow like the lightning, maybe. Oh, there's like a spot up there. What is that? Wait a minute. I hear the grasshopper. That's not the only thing I really feel like I should go interact with, but... Man, the storm effects are really nice. We kind of keep exploring because I feel like there's got to be like a certain path you're supposed to follow. Yeah, it's like a little battlefield section. Okay, I guess on that, that I'll just stop here for now. Thank you all for watching. I would just keep going, but it's like I don't. I want to just like figure out where I'm supposed to actually go first because we've already been back over there. One thing I do want to see is can I go? Because there's like a little spot. It almost looks like there's water up on top of this hill, but I could be wrong. Maybe you can't even go up there. I don't know. It looks like you may can. Hold on. Let's see. It's right in front of me. It's like a little cliff area. It looks like I have the spot down here, but I don't know what's like off limits. There's another waterfall there. It's too interesting. Can you even land up here? This feels like you could. Hold on. This might be where we actually started at. Hold on. There's just so much empty space. It's like, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, this game is massive. Like, for this one chapter to have all this is insane. I'm almost, like, overwhelmed to a point. Like, how do you even get around to, like, nowhere to go? Maybe the waterfall has something. I don't think you can actually go all the way up right here. Yeah, it's a dead end, kind of. Okay. So it's like a little cutoff spot there. Let's go by the waterfall and then after that I'll stop. Something may be here. I really don't know. This looks kind of important. Hold on. Uh, hippo. Alright. Chilling there. It's a dead end there. Okay. Well, I guess the explorations kind of like come to a halt. So, sorry for the weird ending. But I just don't like where to actually go yet. And it seems like... I have to, like, figure out where else I can actually go because... Yeah, it's like we hit a lot of bosses, but, like, there's no general direction where you're supposed to actually get to. Like, there has to be, like, a central thing. Maybe we're, like, the entire point of the chapter is to craft this armor set? I really don't know. If that's the case... Worst case, we'll just fight the grasshopper next time, you know? <laughs> but, alright, love you all. Catch you next time. Peace.